Today we will be talking about neem oil and neem oil because there are two versions of it. Many years ago when I started growing many plants, I did come across some insects and some problems in my plants and I needed to treat them. My plants were growing in the same house as my kids and I did not want to use insecticides. So I looked for other methods, alternative, alternative methods uh, on the natural side to be able to get rid of the pests without killing my kids. And this is where I discovered neem oil. Now many of you know what neem oil is, but I'm still going to give this little course because some people don't. Now, if we go back in the day, and you older folks will remember, when we bought neem oil, it was a very thick and lumpy liquid like this. See that? And then, so this stuff is really good stuff. But when, uh, fast forward in the times, I guess neem got known, the benefits, and and neem became very popular. <clears throat> the big corporations wanted to play the game too. So they did get in the game and they gave us this. Very, very liquid. It's like water. So there are now two versions of neem oil. This one is flooded in the market and this one is hard to find, but it is coming back. So I hate this stuff. Because this has worked every time I had an infestation. Uh, I'm going back many, many years. But if I had an infestation of something, I would treat with neem oil. And I always got rid of the pests. And then after I stopped finding this stuff, it was not findable. We started using neem or bio neem or whatever. And every single time I used these products, I did not get results. I always ended up having to use the chemicals and the hard stuff. And it really, really sucked. So I very, very much dislike this product. This morning I was going to come in and make the video telling you not to buy this because it doesn't work and I will tell you where to buy this. <laughs> but I needed to know, I didn't want to spread fake news, so I needed to know why the why's in the back. Why is this one working? This should work, it's neem, but it's not working, so why? So I've been online for the last four hours researching. I've read so many scientific, scientific papers. I'm a little bit dizzy, but I have learned a lot and I will now share it with you. So both products come from the neem tree, but they are very, very different. So we're going to start with the uh, cold press version. The active ingredient in uh, this one is as a directin. Acidiractin is extracted from the seeds of the neem tree. It is an important antifeedant, repellent, sterilizer, insect growth regulator, and can also slow or cease insect egg reproduction. It is most effective on insects in the larval stage, and it acts as a stomach poison to chewing or sucking insects. So, conclusion, if the plants are treated with neem oil, when the bugs do come in, they may just pass by and not eat because they don't like this stuff. It doesn't taste good. It's impalpable. They don't like the smell. But if they do decide to chew or suck on your plants, it will disrupt them. They may lay um, infertile eggs. Uh, it may it will play around with their reproductive system. They may decide not to lay eggs. It will. Uh, disrupt them at some point and the population will die off or and the insects will just die because if the insects are not laying eggs it just stops when they die it stops so this is how this product works now for me this is not new information I knew all that but I was mistaking on one point is I always thought this product was an antifungus fungal or fungicide and that it combated disease and rust and all sorts of, you know, all the other stuff that can attack our violets. Now, I read many, many, many papers this morning. <laughs> I did find one mention where one of the scientists writes down that it is, it does have antifungal properties, but not in the, the standard way. It's, um, the way I can understand it is that if the leaf is coated with uh, the neem oil, the fungal, fungus spores will have a difficulty to attach to the leaf because of the oily surface. So if that makes sense, it made sense to me. Now, so this is, that's the information for this guy, the thick stuff. Love it. 
why this stuff doesn't work now I know but I don't hate the product anymore this is made okay they take this product and they treat it with alcohol and it becomes it's called clarified hydroponic extract of neem oil that's the liquid stuff now when they they treat it with alcohol what happens is they're removing the azadirectin from it and we know the the main ingredient that is the insecticide is the azadirectin so this is why this product never worked on my bugs all the companies sell it as an insecticide and this is where i hate these products i don't like the label i think it's misleading and from what i could understand from all the papers that i did um, read this morning is that it's not an insecticide it's a suffocating agent it's the oil the residue oil that remains in the product and it when, when it touches the bug it suffocates the bug so whether you're using this or vegetable oil or olive oil any type of oil if you put oil on the bug it will suffocate so it's not the neem properties in this product that is killing off the bugs it is the the contact action of the oil on the bug so this is why where i find it is very very misleading they don't say this on the labels what they say is uh, they kills blah 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 many many insects i will uh, add this in the video but uh, they because i can't even read it i don't have my glasses <laughs> however Something I learned is that when they remove, when they do go through the process of uh, treating this with alcohol to change it, it becomes a fungicide. So this is apparently not a fungicide, but it becomes a fungicide during the, the transformation process. All the neem oil bottles that you will find or bio neem, they always start by fungicide. They always have the fungicide mentioned and they write insecticide beside it. The fungicide I'm okay with, where, where I'm not okay is the insecticide. They should write smothering agent, but there you go. That's what they do. So now we have two, two good products. We have the neem oil for the insects and the other stuff for the fungi, fun, blah, funguses. So when you are choosing neem oil, um, you can find this almost anywhere, big box stores, hardware stores, I think Walmart has it. You will always find the mention, you have to look at the, the ingredients, you have to, you can't just go with the name. It doesn't mean, like this, right, it's called neem oil, but it's misleading, it's not true. You have to look at the ingredients. I'm going to add this in, uh, I'm going to give you a picture of this so you can see what the word is. But you have to find a product that, if you're looking for a fungus sign, you have to look for a product that says clarified hydroponic extract of neem oil. And I looked up many, many brands this morning because you don't have to take the Bonide brand, they're all the same. Um, I looked up 10 brands and they were all the same. They had 70% of the clarified hydroponic extract of neem oil and they had 30% of, uh, they call it other ingredients. I think it's water. <laughs> but they're all the same, 70% plus 30%. Now, you may find some, I, I haven't come across them, but you may find some products that have azadirectin in it as an ingredient that would be the neem oil I've seen online very thick versions of this very pasty like mine is very very pasty it's liquid right now but if it gets colder in the room this will harden up however as I was searching on the net I did find a lot of versions of it so what you want is either they write um, a 100% neem oil cold pressed or 100% as a as a direct and I'm going to put that word underneath so you will know what I'm talking about and I'm really really mentioning this a lot because both of them are called neem oil 
but both are not what they seem. They're not both neem oil. We have an extract and we have the, the good stuff. Well, they're both good stuff, but they don't do the same thing. <laughs> neem oil is also known to be a systemic. Now, I don't know about this stuff, but I know that this has systemic properties, which means that the plant will absorb the neem. And the way I always uh, saw it is that, oh, I'm spraying my plants and they will auto protect themselves because they're not going to taste good for the bugs. Now, when you're mixing this one, you just read the instructions and follow the instructions. It's very liquid, so usually it mixes well in the water. Um, I won't give you an example. Of that. It's very, very simple. You add whatever they say to the water. And if it is oily a little bit, just add a little bit of soap. For the other one, the, the good stuff, it will not mix. <laughs> There's a little trick, very, very simple. You need to use uh, warm water, a little bit hotter than warm, not hot. Heat and light um, breaks down the neem very, very quickly. So we want to stay uh, away from hot water. But here I have some warm water, a little bit hotter than warm. But anyways, you get the drift. So I'm just going to give a sample because I don't have to spray right now. Oil and water do not mix. So you see it's floating there. Oh, it's on my side. <laughs> Anyways, it's floating right there. So I'm going to add a little bit of dish soap. You can use anything. And you just want to make sure it, it mixes well. Here, I got a nice big line. There you go. See, you see it. So just add a little bit of dish soap. That was just a little bit. If I didn't put enough in and I see that it doesn't mix, because oil and water don't mix. And then if you add soap, well, soap and oil don't mix. The soap wins. It's not that it doesn't mix, it breaks down. So you just shake it up, and there you go. As you're spraying, you want to once in a while shake up the, the bottle. Try not to spray in full sunlight because sunlight does break down the neem quickly. So either spray early in the morning or after the lights go off in the evening just to, to get the action going as much as possible. Um, the smell of the product, it doesn't smell good. After you use it for a while, we kind of get used to it. My description of the smell is a mix between lemons and onions. It smells when you spray, and as the product dries up, the smell goes away. It doesn't, it, it won't stay in the, in the room a long time. And how to spray the plants. You simply take your plant. If you're just spraying as a prevention, just spray, spray over the plants. Just very, 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 very light like that. If you are combating insects, you will want to get the bottom of the leaves also. No more than that. The flowers, the flowers will be marked. If there's open flowers and they receive some uh, neem, you will see some white spots. It, it, it's like if it, it discolors where it touches. Um, it will not damage the leaves. If there is a big puddle of water somewhere, the water will dry up and the you will remain with a crusty, oily, not oily surface, but um, it will mark the leaf, but it won't damage the leaf, um, but it will stay on top. It's, it's oil. <laughs> so if you have a big puddle of oil, it will do what oil does. And I think I've covered this one. The quantity to use uh, is normally written on each bottle, so you just use that quantity. If you're prevention spraying, you can cut that quantity to the minimum. Um, but if you are combating bugs or an infestation, you'll want to jack it up a bit higher and spray more often. And as I make my videos on insects, I will recommend the dosages like light sprayings or heavier sprayings and so on. I think I've covered everything. If you have any questions, just ask them below and otherwise I will talk to you next time.